Hi, welcome to the Windows Server Training Free Course. And today in day five, I would like to show you how to remote to Windows Server from the Windows 10. Okay, so firstly, we need to change the server and enable the remote desktop for the Windows Server. And after that, I will get it from the my Windows 10. Okay, so now let's get started. And this is my Windows Server. Golden Windows Server is 2016 Data Center. And you can do the same th way with another version of the window. Is something like Windows 2019, Windows 12, on some other version of the window server. Okay. So here, I will open the window run and open the CMD. Firstly, I will check the IP address of the Windows server. I type in IP config. Yes. Here, this is the IP address of my server, and I back to my window, window, window ten. Yeah, this is my window ten pro version. Okay, I open the remote desktop. I open, uh, click on start, and type in remote. Yeah, we have a remote desktop connection application. Open this one. Yeah. And open my Windows Server. And here I will type in the IP address is one nine two point one six eight. Okay. Okay. And I click on connect. Okay. So if the connecting take a long time, that means you cannot do the remote desktop to the server. So here you got the the error message. Remote desktop cannot connect to the remote computer for some below reason. We have three three reason. Remote access server is not enabled. Remote computer is turned off. Blah blah here. Okay. So here, I will back to server. Close this one. And I click on start. I will open the server manager. If you didn't see the server manager here, you can type in server manager. Open this one. Okay. So you see here on the left panel we have three tab, a uh, four tab here. You go ahead to click on the local server. So here in the local server, you can see of the uh, it is a computer property. Yeah, we have a computer name work group. Yeah, Windows five 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 one remote dat remote management remote data. Yeah, so here for the remote data, you see the status is disabled. Yeah, you go ahead to click on the link here. So now here on the pop-up, you click on allow remote connection to this PC. Yeah. A winning message will be displaying. You click, on, you click on OK button here to confirm. Click on OK button. OK, so now the status is still disabled. You should click on refresh button on the top. Yeah. The remote desktop has been changed the status from the disable to enable. So now here, I will back to my Windows 10 for testing again. Hopefully the config configuration is good and I should be able to remote desktop to my PC, to my server. Connect. Yeah, so here, you have to part the, 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 the checking of server. So now here you need to enter the credential to get access to the server. You click on more, more join. You a uh, different account. Yeah. So now here you have to use the account you are using to log in into the server here to get access via the remote desktop connection. I'm using the administrator account. I provide the password. I click on I remember me but a uh, checkbox here. Save it for the next time. Okay. Yeah. 
so here it display in the warning message sheet the identify of the report data cannot be verified do you want to connect anyway yeah so here i on, i check to the don't ask me again for connection to this computer i click on it button here to do the confirmation yeah so now here you can see we can do the remote desktop to my server and because i'm using the administrator account to remote desktop so now the account in the server will be locked because we cannot use the same account here to do to remote to one server at the same time okay back on this one and i will close this one yeah it would be better when we do the remote desktop to the server instead of using the virtual machine and okay very good okay i close this one and back to my server okay cool so now here if i open the server and try to disable the remote desktop again what happened i disable this one refresh it okay and back to my pc remote desktop this one connect it would be displaying a, 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 an error okay cool back to server and enable it again for testing one more time enable okay yeah so now here i can get access into my windows server okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to do the enable for the windows server and after that we do the testing by remote from the windows 10 to my windows server 2016 okay thank you for watching bye bye and see you later